All right guys, Joey Cuss coming back at you again today. And if you saw my last video, I kind of teased you a little bit as to uh, what's in the box. Well, here's the box, there's the table, and obviously this is going to be now an unboxing video of what's in this black box. The box might give it away, but what model? Who knows? Let's find out. Okay guys, here we go. I'm going to try to make this quick. I'm not going to drag it out, but obviously here's the box. Oh, wait, forgot to show you this. It is a six hour, as you can see. So basically, what this is, it is a six hour P220. Now, move that out of the way. This one's a little bit different than the rest of the 220s. Uh, first, you know, you get your information here. Well, now they're starting to team up with Lucas. That's, well, the other thing they give you is a small thing of Lucas gun oil. So you get a free sample of that. Get it your uh, SIG sticker. Your manual. Manuel, Manuel! Get some info on their uh, ammunition. That's my receipt. Stop or I'll shoot. And, you know, your typical junk drawer bicycle lock. So you get that. Now, the other thing you get is two eight round magazines. All right, come on. That's all the New York jokes, are just, just keep talking about them. But these are actually supposed to be, I don't know if you can see that, they're supposed to be eight round magazines. And as you can see, I just got home with this, so nothing is actually out of the packaging. But, as I was saying before, this one is, this 220 is different in, in the way that instead of it being chambered in 45 ACP, it is chambered, wait for it, in 10 millimeter. That's right, 10 millimeter. As you can see on the barrel. So let's, obviously she's unloaded, nothing in the magazine. So that's how this one's different. This one's chambered in 10, mil, 10, mil, 10, mil, 10 millimeter. This is the 226, uh, 220 Elite. Thinking of my 226 all the time. So this is how she comes. These grips are, I believe they G10, the black G10 Piranhas. Oh, I got the website open too, so. Five inch barrel on this bad boy. It is a single action only pistol. So you have your uh, safety there, which is very, Obviously loud and positive. The sights on it, basically you have a rear adjustable sight and the front is one of their uh, Trugo Sig Night sights. So let's see if we get that thing lined up pretty good. So that would be your sight picture, if I can hold it straight. So you got that. Uh, I believe it's a five pound trigger pull. You have your, uh, actually let's see, show the trigger first. So when, obviously you would carry this, you know, cocked and locked, but when you go to pull the trigger, you know, you got some take up, then you hit it, a little creep, and just like that. Like I said, it's a five pound trigger from what the website says. Uh, the gun itself weighs about 39 ounces with the magazine. So you also got your nice little beaver tail here, which uh, you can get a good grip on it. It's actually thing feels very nice. Because it's a single stack, the grip is a little bit smaller than normal. When you put the magazine in, you know, it's got the little, uh, sticks out a little bit, but that's, it's got the, the plate on it. So, obviously, it's no 1006 like you've always got, but I actually like this. It's very comfortable in the hand. Uh, basic takedown is just like, any other SIG you would buy, but, you know, whoops. If I can hold the damn thing. Lock the slide back, you got your little takedown lever here. Pull that down, forward, and there you go. So you got your uh, guide rod, which has the uh, spring all in one piece. As you can see that. 
Here is the barrel, which still has all the factory lube on it. No, that's not for me. And, you know, that's what the inside of the slide looks like. So, that's it. That's basically it for the uh, takedown. Uh, as far as the internals go, I don't believe there's anything special. You know, as far as the insides go, as far as coatings go, it's just your basic uh, stuff. So, put it back together, you know, flip that that lever back up and just release the slide and that's it so nothing too crazy about the takedown or anything like that but see there's uh, obviously the black nitron finish on it see if there's anything else in particular on this that we need to know um, and of course the landscape has got to start doing the lawn at this time obviously you got your accessory rail so but other than that that's uh, basically it. Just wanted to show you guys this since I kind of teased you a little bit on the other video. So, oh yeah, and I do have a box of the ammunition. So, look at that sucker. Nice 10 millimeter. Let's see if it actually uh, will focus. But anyway, let's uh, go back up and I'll end this video. All right guys, well, here it is. The uh, SIG P220 Elite in 10 millimeter. Uh, I don't know, not much I can really say about it right now. Until uh, tomorrow, today is Tuesday. Tomorrow, hopefully Jerry shows up this time. We are supposed to be going shooting tomorrow and I will be trying this bad boy out. So, we shall see how good it is, how good it shoots and you know, actually if it works, just in general. But, well, there's the, there it is. SIG P220 Elite in 10mm. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, stick around for the range footage. Because this video is over and I have nothing else to say and that's it. Later guys. Alright guys, before I go I just want to do this one last thing. Um, if any of my subscribers have noticed, I've been leaving the hashtag Justin's Final Mission in the video, you know, in the either in the thumbnail or at the end of the video. What I'm going to do is, every video that I do has all the information for it. Uh, basically, it's to raise awareness for veterans, because 22 a day, which is the suicide rate for veterans, which I didn't know about, and I found out through, through this. So, there's a bunch of YouTubers that are doing 100 videos by the end of the year to help raise awareness and raise money for active heroes to uh, complete Justin's final mission before he lost his battle with cancer. So, guys, I'll leave the information below. Go check them out if you can. Support them. If not, understand. You know, not, no, one, no one's forcing you to do, to do this. So, But just give, give them a look. Support the other uh, YouTubers that are doing this also. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later.